Hi, good evening, everyone. I committed myself to do something different this, this year. And one of them is coming to you guys more often live. And I've been doing great. I love this new Facebook live invite a friend thing. So I have been running with that. And y'all gonna see me out here more in these internet streets as they call them. Um, talking to you live with, and interviewing some great people. We got, we're gonna have our midday live chats. But right now I just wanted to come in and do a quick chat, a really quick one about how your mindset could either help or hurt you on your journey through accomplishing anything. Having the right mindset is so important to even jump starting any endeavor that you have, whether it's a resolution, whether you call it a goal or a resolution, mindset is the number one thing you need to adjust when you know there is something burning deep inside of you that you need to accomplish, that you want to do with your life, you know, you don't know. Sometimes you don't even know what it is you need to do. But you know that there is something burning inside of you, some change that needs to happen in your surroundings, in your life. Uh, sometimes you're thrust into it. You're thrust into situations of change. But the road that you take during before, during, and after anything is what really sets you apart from high achievers and low achievers, right? High achievers actually take stock of the journey as they're going along trying to navigate uh, uh, achievements. And I didn't say goals for a reason because sometimes people... That we, we use this terminology, goals, goal setting, resolutions. That's my jam, right? That's my thing, thing, thing. Setting goals. I have developed an awesome roadmap kit for you guys, for you guys to be able to properly shift your mindset, review, reflect, relate, get, vis get, get visualization as to what it is you want to obtain in your life. That I'm gonna be, re you know, soon enough we'll 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 be ready to release it um, for um, the month of January to help you throughout your year. But right now is a time for reflection. In my roadmap kit, I created it as a way to help you take action to the things that you really, really want to do with your life. And the first thing that we work on with you is your mindset. Your mindset begins with getting clarity on where you were before this point where you realize I got to poop or get off the pot. What is it? What is it that held you back in the past? What is it that didn't, what, 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 what skills, abilities were you lacking before you got to this day where you know that now is the time for you to make some improvements, for you to make some changes in your life, and to really get yourself on the path to major change and success, transformation. 2018 will be the year of transformation for you. Right now, our world, our country is in a spirit of, of woman empowerment on a whole nother level. I've been doing women empowerment over five years now. I'm going on my fifth anniversary of my expo. But before that, trust and believe, I've been doing my little workshop, my little woman empowerment thing, rah, rah, on a local level, starting with my nonprofit organization, bringing women together to help us feed the homeless and do, real, do community work. But as I moved on to different different things, in addition to my nonprofit, I've been doing this for a long time. And I can't tell you how excited I am for this time that we're in right now. Now is the time. That was a the theme for 2017's uh, Women on the Rise Forum and Expo. Now is still the time. And together we will rise. So this year's theme for the Women on the Rise Forum and Expo happening in October is Together We Will Rise. That's the theme for the entire year. I want you guys to know that people are here in your corner. You may not have had the help. 
you may not have had the assistance, you may not have had the camaraderie, you may not have been involved with, and um, connected to like-minded people, but this is the year we want you to shift your mindset. Not everyone is against you. Some people are out here rooting for you. You just have to find those people. It's important you find the people, connect with them that are like-minded, that are genuinely there for you. So your mindset sets the stage for anything you want to do from this moment on. Shifting your mindset from pessimist to optimist, negative to positive. We can't always, always be positive. Hey, Yolanda, thanks for joining me today. I was sitting here by myself in these uh, uh, social media live, but I appreciate you for dropping in and saying hello. And we're talking about mindset, how mindset could either hurt you or harm you. And when you're sitting around and walking around with a negative mindset and not seeing the glory that is in front of you that God has bestowed upon you, the gifts that he has given you to that should help you Create the life you want because sometimes it's not about what you think that, that you want to do. Sometimes you have to stand in your, uh, 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 your faith to understand that sometimes God just gives you gifts that you can't even see. But you need to stop and stand for a moment. Shift your mindset to believe that the gifts that he's given you, even though you didn't know that that's where you wanted to go in your life, you need to listen, be obedient, and follow the plan that's not yours. We're, we are not in charge, right? We know that. We are not the ones that are in charge. So it's important. I want you guys, as you're going along, they say, what do they say? How long does it take for you to break your resolution? Well, it's not about resolutions. We, we don't have nothing to break. You, know, you don't have anything to break at this point. At this point, I will be here for you to continue to remind you that you have something greater in you that you want to accomplish and that you need to stay steadfast in working to accomplish those things. They, you call them goals. We call them goals. We call them resolutions, whatever you want to call them. But you need to make sure that you do the work. You do the work. How can how can you think you can't just sit here and think you're going to get to the next level without doing the work that it takes a re and it requires for you to make it to that next step. Right now, my next step requires for me to be on these live streets. I have to get live. I have to get out of my own comfort zone. I have to stop hiding behind the computer. You know, last year was a year that I stopped hiding behind my logo. Hey, Ashley. Mindset is all about mindset, right? We have to shift your mindset. You're doing the work, Yolanda. I've been watching you, and I love what you're doing with Grown Girls. I think you guys have something great. Continue the success. Make sure your mindset is in the right place. Collaboration, working together, up, and it's got to all be equal. We've got to share the platforms. We've got to share the space equally. Hey, girl. Hey, Ashley. How you doing? So I want you guys to know that your mindset could either hurt you or work for you. Having negative mindsets, keeping you in a space where you're connected and dealing with people that probably not so positive and it's not that you need to get rid of them in your life. It's not that you need to just complete. Because sometimes some of the people in your family, you can't get rid of. Hello. You can't get rid of everyone. So when people tell you, quit your job, get rid of your boss, fire your boss, quit your job, or get rid of everybody who's negative in your life. Okay, girl, let me thank you for that advice. But the reality is you can't do it. You can't do it. So how do you come home? How do you react? How do you prepare yourself to deal with people in your life that you can't get rid of? You got to shift you. You got to shift your mindset to help you understand it's not about me. It's about them. They crazy. They got something going on. Right now, Don't. It's, I can't take this personal because that person has some things that they need to work out. And it's not always about you, but that's your mindset working for you. You got to fix your mindset, get your mindset in a space where 
it 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 can move with change it could move with different personalities we are we some of us are not equipped to deal with different personalities because we don't do the work mentally in our mindset to put a blocker oh that's a good word I, i'm in software so we got a lot of i have i use a lot of my analogies from work there's a blocker you can put up a blocker to say to yourself oh okay that's what you think about me block it blockers use blockers no i send people i talk to clients and i tell clients listen when you go into this meeting, visualize what it means to get the yes, visualize what it means to get the no. And most importantly, because we know how we're going to feel when we get the yes. The yes is the end result that everybody wants. So we know what it's going to feel like to get the yes. But if you prepare yourself for what the no looks like, Thank you so much, Yolanda. If you prepare yourself for what that no looks like, when you hear the no, it'll only propel you to move you forward to find where you'll get the yes, right? It's not about it's practice. Last year, I did several pitches last year to major businesses, major investors, major backers, and guess what? I got a yes. And I got to know that will come later in the year. You'll learn more about some of my successes and some of my wins. I won't share too much details, but I got to know. But you know what? Ooh, I was so happy to know that I even had the opportunity to pitch and present myself to major players in business and, and made a connection. I started stalking them girls at HSN. I was everywhere they were. <laughs> I'm still thought social media, you know, chat, chat, chat it up. You have to put yourself in a space with people you need that will help you elevate. Shift your mindset. I got the no, but making the connection with them, graciously smiling in the face of them to say, you know what? I got the no, but that's all right. You're going to give me a yes one day and stay connected, stay connected positively. Be humble, be gracious, be thankful, be grateful for the many opportunities you have coming before you that you don't even see. There's so many things that are about to be laid down for you. You don't even know it yet. But if you stay and sit in a negative space, you will slowly drag yourself away from success. You're slowly pulling yourself away from the end result that you want. Look at the big picture. I thank you so much. My roadmap is coming to you guys soon. I'm so excited to share uh, uh, what will be in this roadmap. We're going to be taking, having you guys go through reflections and really looking at your mindset and really having you take deep dives into the thought process of how, how were things before and it's not about, it, it, it is a calendar year's booklet, but it's not truly about a year. It's about what did you do before this point in time and how are you going to do things differently going further? How, who, who are the people you're going to put into your space? Who are you going to align yourself with in order to get the proper support? And support sometimes just means motivation. When you're watching the people doing the things that you wish to be doing, in the manner that you wish to be doing it, that are humble, that are that are so graciously serving their people, that gives you life. I said today somewhere, I got wings with this Facebook Live. I don't know what happened. 2018 came and I came, boom, busting out the door with the Facebook Live. Because I know I got to do something different 2018. I'm not trying to be the same Marsha I was last year. And last year, I surely wasn't the same Marsha I was the year before. Because trust and believe, for many years, Woman on the Rise has been out. And I've been hanging hanging out behind my, my, my globe. Behind my woman holding the globe. Y'all know my logo. I was hiding behind her. I was not letting my, my voice be heard. And, you know, one day I'll share stories with you guys about um, a revelation I had today talking to my coach, Arthur Latanya, and my publicist about how um, a, 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 something that happened to me years ago that I just realized today is affected my ability 
um, to properly and effectively do public speaking, but I know that's my gift. I know it's my gift to share with people who I am, my stories, and what I have to offer you guys. I don't like the front line. I'm more about behind the scenes. I need, oh, Yolanda, you have to. You are the grown girls. You establish an organization that is being seen and heard by many, and people love your organization, Yolanda. So you have to get from behind the scenes and get yourself in the forefront. You need to change that. And Women on Rise, this girl right here, I'm here to help you. You you have a support system. You could reach out to people all the time. I have coaching packages. I have my roadmap kit coming out. You know, we have the planner. We have tools and resources. And if it's not me, that's okay. It's somebody else. But it's important that you do find someone that can help you reach that next level and break down those cycles and help you get clarity as to why you've chosen this life or why this God has chosen this life for you, right? Fancy planner. Oh, thank you, Ashley. You've seen my plan, pray, prosper planner. That's the plan, pray, prosper planner Ashley's talking about. Uh, it's so amazing. It really helps you plan your life and the roadmap for your life um, using scripture as a tool to help you get focused, get clear, and, and get get um, get your, your task and goals done. And I'm coming out with a new electronic version, Ashley, which is called the roadmap. Um, the Women on the Rise roadmap, which is, is, is just a um, workbook full of tips and steps for you to plan out your year, which we'll, we'll um, talk about in the next coming days. I'm almost finished with them. Final extra nuggets. This is what I use with my clients when we do our live um, VIP master days, VIP day workshop days with my clients, and I have developed it into a workbook that I really wanna share with you guys. And for those people who can't necessarily uh, um, buy into my VIP day, you'll have the roadmap kit. And I'm I'm just almost finished with that. So Ashley, Yolanda, thank you guys so much for, for um, watching me tonight. Share this out with your friends, guys. I, I forgot to share. Oh, Lord, they, these um, social media live people always tell me, share, share, share. I forgot to share, but I'll share it afterwards. Um, share this with your friends and keep on the lookout. We will be there for each other. We are helping each other rise. That's why we are... Women on the Rise. Good night.